What is up, my Simitubians? How are you all doing? Yes, we are on our nemesis, and the reason for that is we are on the 1.50 beta patch where our turrets on bailed targets work. Finally! Um, there are a number of issues that 1.50 beta has brought. Um, uh, the main one is probably that uh, freighters and traders and so on get stuck in the hangar bay or near the hangar of stations so you'd notice an epic um, drop in frames up to the point of uh, lag really sticking. Um, so yes, that is that. Yes I have been in a little bit of a skirmish with our nemesis, as you can see, our hull has been damaged quite a bit. Handles very differently to our Cerberus. Our Cerberus, you know, could take a bit of a beating. Unless this is something new with 1.50, I don't know. So, today... Well, yesterday we ended up getting two blueprints. We found a, a searchable wreck. Uh, what else did we do? What else did we do? What else did we do? I can remember. Oh, yeah, there were some drone shenanigans and stuff and things like that. So I have been told by Kev Peters um, that pretty much you just go around scanning the module that you need. Order you should find a data leak and that data leak should be the one that provides you with the blueprint. Uh, the reason why I didn't do this before is because I thought that the chance of this happening was going to be low however he sort of told me like nah it's it's a it's quite a decent um a high percentage or it's a good rate so we'll be trying that and i do not know why our autopilot has decided to disengage i did not tell you to do this thing so yeah we need blueprints we need money we need uh, stuff and things and ships and I have found out a way how to get our trader to only trade with the ALI's uh, Wharfy thingy which I'm going to show you uh, right now or yes I'm going to show you right now so if we come over to Trinity Sanctum blah 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 we see that we have the ALI Wharf if we look at trade filters on the Wharf only and select the first three things in its list, which are engine parts, scanning arrays, and smart chips. If we then go to our trader that we only want to trade with that wharf, and we look at its stuff and things. Um, so as you can see, I set him up in this sector. So I set his default behavior to auto trade. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. The only things that I told it to trade were the first three items in this list. Obviously, these can change depending on how much they we have in stock. Contraband. And she better not be talking to me. And she is talking to me. And you are a pain in my backside. Now, Order whilst I run away from this idiot. Okay, so now we're on the highway. We are, we are, we are highwaying around the places. Uh, where the hell were we? We were here. So I was saying that we set up our trader with the first three things in its list. So it will only sell to this with these first three things in its list. Now how is it just going to sell? Because we are going to say max gate distance so we're going to keep it to zero. But max gate distance to buy is going to be seven. So he can only sell in this area, but he can buy from everywhere else. And the only place that is going to buy scanning arrays, engine parts and smart chips is the wharf. Because nothing else around here, I believe, buys any of them. I could be wrong. But it doesn't really matter if you lose the one or two trades. So far I haven't. And so far, this trader is netting me about 400 cre 400,000 credits every trade run. So as you can see, our, our, our turn vanguard is um, arriving and we have stuff and things getting stuck in the background. So he is going to sell the scanning arrays, which are over here. 
which is very good. Uh, that is the usual thing that it sells, and they sell for quite a bit. So, if you did know that, I don't know why you didn't tell me in the box below. That was very mean of you. If you didn't know that, then I hope this little uh, tradey thing helps you. Anyway, I'm going to get back to doing some stuff and things in game. I'm going to sort my backside out and repair our hull. Okay, so we are going to repair our Nimasas. Should we go with two missile launchers and three Gatlings, or should we keep these two and go with the torpedo launcher or the tracking launcher? You see, this is one of the things that is currently upsetting me in the game. I cannot buy something and store it and swap it out later. I have to come back and uh, sell what I have to buy something else, which is always going to be costing us a, a little bit of money. So, for now, I think I'm going to try the tracking launcher on our front. So, we have everything. Okay, so consumables we want. Wow, heavy guided missile mark one. Heavy heat seeker missile mark one. Heavy smart missile. 40 is a little low, I think. I'm not too sure. But we shall try that out. Okay, so we have that getting sorted out. So as you can see, this is how much we are making from sales uh, with that trader. Which is pretty damn good. Oh, cool. So it, what, that is the lock on, is it? I'm liking that. So I assume that we launch our missiles with R. You know what? I'm going to go for the usual deterrence. I don't know if these missions are supposed to change and get, you know... I don't know. So that is that. Let us go to the Zen sector. Okay, looks like there's a lot of stuff and things happening over here. I am going to... Two, 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 do one of these things and we're going to do a U-turn. And I'm going to save. Okay, so it looks like I'm having some issues with the missiles. I am not getting the lock-on icon. Don't know what happened, you know. First we got it on the freighter when we were undocking. So yeah, I don't know why I'm not getting any target lock um, icons to appear. But it looks like the missile is locking on. Yeah, it looks like there's a nice little fight going here. Last time the Zenon were pretty much dead in that sector. And today they are... Well... They seem to be looking for some revenge. Just a little. So there is a blind spot on these, which is like a so. It doesn't turn. But we are currently being shot at by something else, at least not this uh, K. There, yeah, that is the blind spot. Somewhere here. Right, a little bit closer. A little bit this way. I'm keeping myself upside down because uh, we have our turrets, so I want them to be doing some stuff. Yeah, our weapons are overheating. Uh, might as well stop the D's until they cool off. Mind you, these are more for hull damage rather than shield. So. I believe there is something on my backside, and that's the other destroyer. And why are moving forward? And again, space by the So 
Yeah, that's pretty much how you take on AK. You just come up to its backside and uh, you can stay there and shoot you. You can do this with your first ship. It might take you a couple of years. But you can still do it. Yep, we're still two out of three on Sita. Is there anything else left here for us to shoot? Doesn't look like it. So we're soon nearing nearing the 10 million mark, very nice. Mission completed, 100% in zip. We have succeeded. Very good, very good, very good, very nice. Poor little poo. So I was just looking at um, uh, you know the ALI place, and it looks like you know the scanning arrays they really use them up. So I'm thinking that I'm going to set up another trader from these guys and uh, do the same thing again. So yeah, I'm thinking I was going to set up another one of these. Um, also for the crew, if we're going to start to do some boarding ops. they they uh, So as you can see, they pretty much hold every engine from e every race. Same with the, the shields. Pop one of those on. Get two of... Uh, let us see which ones. That's 4,800. 4,300. So we're going to use two of these ones from the Teladi. Just go all around Mark 2's. I think we'll go with the Travel Mark 2's. So for this one I'm going to just have like uh, five and the rest I'm going to have them as Marines because I know at some point I am going to need these guys for boarding. Excellent. So once that is ready I will set it up the exact same way as we set up our other turn. Okay, so we've got another achievement ship collection. I'm assuming that is because our turn is ready. Very good. So, let us set this one up like I've done the other one. As you can see, the first three things in the list are scanning arrays, engine parts, and smart chips. So we're going to go in hither. And we're going to go default behavior. Uh, I know they have changed these a little bit, so auto trade, and we want, what was it, scanning arrays, engine parts, scanning, scanning, scanning is on the S, you noob, smart chips. And we'll set up the same as the other one with seven jumps and max this gate distance to cell is set at zero set that default response to pirate harassment we don't want you to use global settings we want you to escape and it looks like these holy nutters yeah i am not going to stick around for that so our Turn Vanguard should be sorting itself out. Looks like it already has something in mind. Let's have a look. So he's going to go to Silent Witness. He is going to do the Argon engine part refinery. He's going to buy engine parts. And then it's going to come back here to the LA Paranid Wharf and it's going to sell those engine parts. So hopefully that is going to start to boost up our rep a little bit quicker with these guys. Uh, currently we are sitting at four. So that is that. Okay. 
Wow, it is really hard to hit an, uh, an uh, uh, bloody hell my tongue. It's really hard to hit an M with these missiles. So I want to try the torpedoes. I'll bring you guys back very soon. I see what I've done. I installed the tracking launcher Mark 1 and I didn't install the Mark 2. But with the Mark 2 we only get 44. Well, we only get a plus 4 to the missiles. The torpedo launcher. We get 42 uh, torpedoes, I'm assuming. So we've got heavy torpedo uh, or light torpedo. I want some navigation beacons for whenever we locate a anomaly. And I do want to start putting down some advanced satellites. Question is where? So that is going to cost us a little bit. Question is either the heavy or the light torpedo. Then I want 21 and 21 so we can try these out to see if there's like a speed difference if one might be better versus uh, fighters for example small ships fast ships so I'll bring you guys back once this is done so I'm gonna accept that and we'll go and kill off two peas okay so we have a P I'm gonna launch a torpedo straight away like a s so hello no yes thank you does not look like it is locking on so our torpedoes do not lock on? Question marks everywhere, all across my face. So I'm going to try the light torpedoes. I'm just hitting K to swap between them. You have to wait until it loads it. Well, fair enough, I, I think I agreed to that one. Yeah, I did not want to overshoot it like that or have it right in my face. So I'm going to wait until he drops out of travel mode. And I'm going to launch our torpedo. This is the light torpedo. I am assuming that it does not lock on. Oh, bloody hell. It just one shot the P. What the f No. Really? No, that was awesome. But it is pretty damn slow, obviously. I mean, you're not going to expect that to have the agility of, like, a swarm missile, for example. So we shall be trying out different types of missiles and torpedoes and stuff and things, but currently we do really want to try to save our money. Rather than swapping from one to another, which means that we have to keep on buying and selling them, which really, really, really sucks. So I really hope they do change that. We need one more P. The Mark III strafe drives are quite better. I mean, it's a noticeable difference. Uh, if you just look at the numbers on the page, you cannot gauge how better it's going to be. So, yeah, it is a noticeable difference. It's a nice noticeable difference. Could have been a little more. So they have a construction vehicle in the Shannon sector. I don't fancy trying to board one over here though. I'm curious to see if they actually built something here. Okay, so we found a, another P. It's taken a while for someone to come through. 
We are currently loaded with our heavy torpedo. Oh Christ, we no, that was too close. Okay, so we launched it, we launched it and the distracted it with the flares, fair enough. Uh, crap, we're gonna have to get rid of it. Heavy didn't do much, so I'm gonna try it on this guy, but yeah. Okay, so it looks like the heavy is now tracking this one, and it's tracking it pretty damn good. But is it going to. I mean, obviously, the torpedo is not an anti fighter weapon. And if you like one, one shot, eight, obviously, I think that would but it has a long lifetime. It has a long lifetime, that is for sure. It has been flying around uh, longer than the smart missile did. Oh, wow, our aim is absolutely horrendous. Bloody hell, that thing is still flying around. So yeah, it has an epically long lifetime. Awesome stuff. Question is, what is the range on it? So that is the heavy again. I don't think we can select it. No, we can't. Previous X Games, you could uh, you could have a little camera of the view from the missile. Ow! Oh, he just went. Boom! He went boom. Obviously, we I was expecting a boom. So yeah, torpedoes are very nice indeed. I am unsure as to the light or choosing the heavy or the light. So I did have a comment from Devious Beard saying, well, you know, there's also the major, 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 major dust thing, major stuff, the dust. Um, so yeah, thank you for that, thank you for reminding me of it, as we do want to grow our drug and booze empire, that has to be one of them. So that is something else we're going to add to the list. He also said that we should probably, or we can, obviously build in the sectors um, like these two here, as they're not owned by anybody. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all for our first uh, complex. I tend to agree with this one. Anyway, so that is the idea. We are going to go get some blueprints. We are going to try and board a constructor because we need a constructor. I would like to try to get a wing, at least two more nemesises to accompany me with this nemesis. As for loadouts, I have no idea what the AI pilots will be good with so if you know that leave it in the box down below and we have a another k i am not gonna mess around with that one because it's just gonna take too bloody long anyway i'm gonna bring guys back once we well once i start to uh, get the blueprinties so i'm looking for you know what was mentioned in the comments like order completed a thing that you you know sort of repair so you can get the blueprint but so far it only seems that there's that hacking mission for the station security but perhaps if there is one mission already available perhaps you don't get the uh, opportunity to do the repair or the scanning uh, part of things so that is why I thought you know it would be quicker with the EMPs just say if I wanted this, I wouldn't be, you know, circling around trying to find the scanning or the repair mission. 
I would have just planted down at EMP, d done the four bits and buggered off. Okay, so I'm at another um, Argon habitat. <laughs> Oi. Okay, we're picking up a signal. Hello there. I believe this is the signal our friend in our comedy section was telling us about. Hello. Did you please address me as Lord and Master. Oh, there we go. And the blueprint organ small habitat. Yay! And we didn't need to use an EMP, so thank you very much for that comment. Very appreciated. I mean, fair enough, we did have to find another habitat, but you were correct in saying that it is a high percentage. So that's cool. They're building something. It's a freighter, I think. So I have been circling the habitat for what, about five minutes now? Unfortunately nothing is popping up. And we got the blueprint of the Argon large container storage. Awesome. Okay, so it seems that there is a universal storage storage so I'm guessing that um, in our complex if we needed uh, liquid storage container storage or whatever storage then this should be okay for all three types problem is trying to get a data leak okay so I have checked all four of these Argon universal storage and none of them popped up with a data leak so I've scanned all four of these and no data leaks uh, I think I'm gonna have to actually start to use the EMPs to be honest we shall see okay so I'm gonna quickly do this one deliver for decryption modules this should give us access to more black market -y stuff there you go the black market here can I Collect the items before trying to deliver them. Okay, so we have to make uh, the decryption thing we do this ourselves. Well, I mean, she's got 46 on her, so we could buy, what, five? That was right, right? Can I help? There you go. Greetings. That was only four. Great work. There we go. I've got a feeling I'm going to be needing these. Well, at least we unlock the black market here. That's very good.
So, <clears throat> so question of the day is, why does this Argon wheat farm have a little housey on it? You can see that. Let me zoom in a little more. So yeah, there's a, an icon on this. So I don't know what that is about. If you know what that is about, please tell me in a boxy down below. I am still hunting for the last bits and pieces of blueprints, so I'll bring you guys back Order in a mo. Completed. Awesome. So that appears to be all of the blueprints. I just hope that um, that that that. Uh, yeah, I just hope that they are not going to be all different styles, like you know, a paranoid style, a split style, Hello. argon style, all mixed in. Order that completed. would be a little bit sucky. I guess that would be eating my OCD very badly. And yeah, we're getting a lot of uh, sticking. Selena, but uh, that is due to the 1.5. I'm pretty sure that they know that something is up. I like this. I want this. At least I think I want this. funny it has it on the side there and not another one over there why is that why do you have to do this to my OCD why isn't there two why isn't there two over there why do you do this to me how many oh wow it can hold 72 people that would I think that might be pretty damn good for a boarding ship so, if I do see one of these with the HOPs, we definitely want to capture one of them and capture one of their constructors. Okay, so this is a little bit strange. Remember the thing with the, with the little icon over here? So we have this with the little housey icon. They buy Magidus, they buy Space Fuel, they buy Space Weed. And they produce meat, uh, wheat, and they produce wheat. So I really don't know what the hell is going on with that. What the hell is it? Is it like a front? Anyway, I'm looking for where they produce Magidust. So I've been flying around the uh, Magidust factories for quite a bit, and I haven't found any leaks. So I'm going to have to use an EMP. I'm just trying to find a place where we can park ourselves. Okay, so that has to be all of them. It has to be now, right? Right. Uh, so, we have the space weed, the space fuel, the magic dust, the wheat, the spice, swamp plant, magic snail, water, energy, uh, storage I need to get, we're not going to use. We have, and we have this. This, I believe, is for the large ones. I'm not sure. I have to double check. And defense, we have some, you know, some things. So, there it is. I believe we do have everything for our drug and booze empire to start our complexes with. We probably need some connections. Uh, probably need an extra large or whatever docking bay. If we're going to use one of the extra large or the large, I keep on saying extra large like it's X3, the very large bleeding uh, miners to mine ice with. So we'll, we'll probably get one of them or um, board one of them, 
get at some cargo drones and uh, minor, minor drone miners for it. So that is that. Um, if you think we have left anything out or that we need something specific or that um, uh, th are going to have every single type of thing so they all look um, the same instead of having like um, a, a paranid, I don't know, a paranid building mixed in with Argon structures, for example. So if you know about that, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to go and hunt for a constructor. And I will bring you guys back in a mo. Okay, so I found our target. Well, at least a potential target. I'm hoping to try to find something else around the outskirts of a sector. So yeah, this has a boarding strength of 288. Um, I highly doubt we'll be successful in boarding this one. That or we'll have to get the hull down to like 50%. Hopefully get a lot of them to eject. They do have some marines on here, but their stats are very low. Order completed. So I don't know. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to end it here. Um, I'm trying not to go over that 30 minute mark. So if you do think we should try to board uh, that constructor with the with the Marines that we have, let me know in the comment section below. Um, so yeah, remember to smash that like and subscribe button like they owe your money. Please leave your comments, your suggestions, and what you've liked, what you've disliked, and all that good stuff and things in the box down below. But for now, take care.